Today's deck was built around a crazy combo between Holebreaker Horror and Croaking Counterpart. It's the idea of controlling the opponent until late game when you can eventually copy Holebreaker multiple times and lock an opponent out of the game. It's made up almost exclusively instant and flash spells. So of course we have Academy Lore Master to always draw us extra cards and the tax we receive is irrelevant because we play everything on the opponent's turn anyways. There's solid synergy pieces like Were Fox and Fairy Vandal that work in a flash plan, but are also amazing targets to copy with the uh, counterpart as backup options. This took me to Diamond within two hours of rank reset, so needless to say, it's pretty solid. But I hope you enjoy. Let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we're checking out Bant Flash. And let me tell you guys, so far, so good. This thing has been absolutely amazing for us. This opening hand here looks really good. Got the Academy Lore Master, so I'm going to take it. Man, it looks pretty solid, too. Yeah, we played a couple of games already with this thing, man. I got to give a quick shout out, though, to the opponent that I went against on the ladder uh, recently, who wasn't running this deck by any means, but was running some sort of a ramp deck into the hole breaker and then was copying it with the frog uh, sorcery, which gave me the idea to this build. I really wanted to play a hole breaker deck that, you know, was obviously really heavily based on flash and then, uh, you know, throw a couple of those frog tokens in here and let me tell you, it's a busted combo. I'll tell you that much. I've done it twice already. We're two for two actually for doing it. So hopefully we can keep that that same. Uh... That same level of consistency. Sorry, I was trying to think here. Um, all right, so we take the land. We attack because we don't intend on blocking with Lore Master ever, even though the visitor could get absolutely massive. We'll be able to take it out later with the um, Emperor. We'll flash in our Fairy Vandal here. We've got the uh, old 1-2 combo going really fast here. Could kill the Visitor with this, but I don't necessarily think I want to. Alright, so it has 1-0 in Vigilance. Whenever it dies, return. Transformed. Creatures and Okay, enter the battlefield tapped. Interesting. So wait, does this have permanent Vigilance? It does have permanent Vigilance. That's kind of crazy. Well, we are in trouble then. We are in trouble. Unable to kill it with the uh, Wandering Emperor is going to be really bad for us. Alright. Um, I guess we passed the turn here. <clears throat> I could fly over the top with the Fairy Vandal. I don't necessarily intend on blocking with it, so there really would be no reason not to attack with it, but... It might be an emergency. We might need to use it to block if the opponent finds, you know, some sort of exiling effect. So let's just leave as many blockers potentially as possible here. Man, this giving vigilance is kind of busted. Nice. Well, it doesn't get trampled yet, so we're safe in that department. We'll go ahead and create a 2 2 chump blocker. I'm not overconfident. May your blade strike. Trying to keep pace with this is going to be really tough um, when you've got the Ozoliths just kind of going ham. I right, take action. A couple of tap lands. I hate to see that. How about another chump blocker? Seems good. Seems good. Keep watch for intruders. Um, still not really wanting to attack here. I probably should. But I mean, as long as we get to the hole breaker horror, we're just going to start bouncing things anyway. So we're really just kind of stalling until that point. And so once that happens, we're going to win the game very easily. It's all about buying time. I've never seen anyone run the Ozolith in this sort of a build. So it's kind of interesting to see that. <clears throat> Are they going to pump more counters into it? Honestly, I... I would appreciate that. That wouldn't bother me at least bit. Man, they are really full sending on this visitor. That means they've got to have the audacity here pretty soon, right? Yeah, I was going to say, wait, why not put it on the visitor? You just pumped all that into. You got the trample. That's odd. Very odd. I think they... 
probably could have won this game had they done that, but now... Now I think you're screwed. You gave me an opportunity here. I've learned much during my travel. Let me show you. This is what you get for... Why not give life. Trample to the 18, 18 powered creature? It just doesn't seem to be the wisest choice I've ever seen. Alright, we've got the counterpart, which is very cool. Hmm. Double Academy Lore Master? Maybe. Sure. Double Academy Lore Master. Create another 2-2. Two -two. Again, just buying time. That's all we're doing. Buying time. Holebreaker Horror can come out next turn. And uh, we'll be good to go. Actually, should probably take... Whoops. I should take this back off. Because we don't need to worry about the... Uh, the triggering effects happening in a certain order. That was for the last deck we did. If you guys didn't see that, check out the reanimator deck that were posted uh, would be yesterday from here. It was insane. All right. Surely we hit a land here with two extra cards, right? You would think. Uh oh. Seal from existence is not great. What are they going to take? Again, not what I would have taken there. That's a pretty strange take if you ask me. Jump here. All right, so we all but guarantee that the Hallbreaker Horror is going to come down here as long as we hit this land. Come on. Land. <sighs> land. Oh, thank God. Okay, I thought we were screwed. <laughs> Had me scared there. All right, we got to pass the turn. And then we got a chump block with one of the lore masters send out the hole breaker and then from there we send everything back to the opponent this is definitely a game i should not have won the opponent playing the audacity onto the generous visitor would have been a very wise decision for them uh, maybe not wanting to commit everything to the visitor makes you know sense to me it really does but you were putting the counters from the calyx onto it so i still don't quite understand that decision from the opponent but it's all good i mean it doesn't matter at this point we've uh got this thing i think pretty much buttoned down All right, here we go. Here we go. GG's. No plays from the opponent. Marks the end of the opponent. All right, here we go. Counterpart on the whole breaker horror. This is absolutely silly what we're about to do. I'm talking the silliest. Yeah, good luck replaying everything, my friend. Good luck replaying absolutely everything. Uh, we'll wait one more turn here. We'll play some defense for just one more turn. All right. Now, of course, obviously they could have like a seal from existence, but it doesn't matter. We've already got two frogs on the field doing the exact same thing. So even if they somehow have it. All right. They don't even have it. All right. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. Uh, decline. We're going to actually decline one more time because I'd like to play the Teferi out here. Just for funsies. Just for funsies. Bounce three things. I mean, seems fair. Sake of the future, I will defend and we'll just play this at instant speed. Seems good. All right. Everyone get in. Everybody get in. It's a party now. It's a party. Everyone's invited. <laughs> I mean, you can't stop it once the train once the train's moving, you can't stop it. Again, we should have lost this game, guys. 100 percent We should have lost it, but I'll take the W. I'll take the W. This has ward three. I wish it didn't. Well, well, well. Sure. GG's. All right, we were going to flash this in or even play this and destroy this. Either way, we were going to bounce everything again and start them all over again. Good stuff. Okay, that was a really good first game. Um, I don't know if we're going to pop off that hard again, but we're going to try. We got the uh, good starting hand here. I mean, we've got to turn to Fairy Vandal. Uh, I'm pretty happy with that. 
pretty happy with that got the counterpart early which could become a, a more flexible option for us here in this particular matchup looks like we're up against mono red all right flashing in the bodyguard here to steal and block something could be really really good i don't think the fairy vandal being a one two is going to do a whole lot for us but you never know and has haste it's a two two though Oh, just when I thought it wasn't going to be doing much for us here, they drop a Phoenix Chick as a 1-1. One, one. I mean, that couldn't have worked out better. Had they switched that order, the Phoenix Chick first, they would have been in a much better spot. I like it. Unable to play the Bodyguard, but I could play the Broker's Charm to blow up the Kumano. Which honestly might make more sense to do that right now, because if this flips over and then they also have... um. Oh my god, I always forget his name. Uh, Godric? It's gonna get that pump. I don't know, man. Maybe I draw two cards and pump up the... You know what? I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna go for the two card draw. Oh, they scoop it. Wow, okay. I just needed a second to think there. I guess Mono Red didn't have any time for that nonsense. I was actually... What I was gonna end up doing there, I think the best kind of move I could have made there was actually allow this to transform on their turn and then instant speed draw two cards which would have pumped this to a two three we block and then we would have been in really good shape there i think obviously barring any sort of burn mechanics but anyways the opponent didn't want to see i guess that would take too long all right well i guess we got to keep in mind that uh ranks did just reset like less than an hour maybe an hour and a half ago and people are on a speed run right now to get their ranks up so we're gonna be seeing a lot of mono red and a lot of very impatient people so Keep that in mind by the way we're flying right now when it comes to our win rate on our last video and now this deck i've barely lost i think one or two games total and so we're just zooming through platinum right now we might just be the first ones to diamond who knows <laughs> i highly doubt it that will never happen to me pretty cool if it did though all right azorius sleight of hand uh could be you know, just a spin on mono blue. Which, if that's the case, might be a really good matchup for us, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, I don't know why they'd do that. I will decline this now, though, because of that. And we'll replay it. Another Fading Hope, really? Uh, they clearly got it, but they're going to wait to play it. Or consider it's just one of those two cards but why wouldn't they have played it there okay i don't know what they have i'm not gonna sit here and pretend i do no clue man all right if i attack into them there are some things that could come back my way seat of the empire smite can't have that so we're gonna pass the turn here no attacks the opponent's on some control business which again, I'm pretty happy with this matchup, if I'm being honest. As long as I've got the Lore Master and Fairy Vandal going. Calendar. We could blow that up with this. Oh no, this is only enchantments. Shoot. I might have screwed up there. Maybe I shouldn't have let that resolve. I don't think it's going to matter, but you never know. Alright, so Fairy Vandal is going to test the waters of attacking for us. Can this also hit artifacts? Just battlefield exile to one target. No, Fox Creature. No. No, it cannot. I absolutely love these two cards together. They are incredible. Let's see what happens. We got the smite. We got the seat of the empire. Nothing, huh? All right. Glad I glad I found that out. Get a little more loosey goosey with our attacks here. Obviously. Wandering Emperor is definitely um, on the chopping block as well. So once they have four mana open, don't want to run into that. We're getting close to the uh, the mana needed for the the Kraken. So let's hopefully we can draw into the Hole Breaker. That'd be nice. Hole Breaker can't be countered either, which is solid in this matchup. Let's try to draw two cards and see what happens. I don't really see this card coming in handy in any other way, to be honest. There, 
there's the hole breaker. Two, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, we will take another card. Yeah. Keep the pump going, man. Keep it going. All right. Remember, Wandering Emperor now is a thing. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I can counter it, though, and they'd be pretty tapped out. I feel like it's a safe bet. But, man, we're going to be exposed to a sweeper the following turn. Oh, this is annoying. Um, I don't know what to do. I feel like I have to really, really slow play this one and just go for the Kraken on the next play. And then from there, I can start playing the uh, attacking in freely. I don't know, man. I can't. I can't run into a Wandering Emperor. That'd be a big mistake, I feel like. I feel like I need to hold the dissipate open for sweepers. That's the thing, right? That's where I'm having my battle and my internal struggle here is let's say I attack, right? Let's say I attack into the opponent's board. They drop a wandering emperor. I counter it with the dissipate. Now I'm just exposed for a complete sunfall the following turn. So it's it's just bad meets more bad. So I'm gonna wait. I'm done taking extra cards from Lore Master. Maybe I can attack. There we go. See, I, I knew there was gonna be a sweeper of some kind coming. Ah, negate. Wow. Solid. It is what it is. Pretty solid. Pretty solid, man. All right, we pass the turn and we flash in the horror, which can't be countered, but kill spells are a thing. So let's hope they, they tap out a bit here. That's fine. Let's go quick on that passing of the priority so they don't feel like I have too much of anything. Man, the odds of them having a kill spell here is so high, but I'm going to just play this and hope and pray, man. Because we haven't seen any kill spells individually. But then again, they would have been playing those, I feel like. If they had to get lost or like two mana kill spells, they would have been taking out my earlier creatures and threats, wouldn't they have? GG's. Whoo, GG's. Let's go. That's big time. That is big time. Yep, there it is. Old Breaker Horror Resolving is an absolute death sentence if you let me allow me to untap. This card is broken, dude. Why did people get away from playing this? I feel like this should have been like heavy, heavy in the meta for so long, and it just never really had its day, which is kind of crazy to me. This card is broken. Okay, we've got an interesting first hand here. Um, I do think we're going to keep it, though, because we have the Academy Lore Master. We go second, which scares me a bit that it's going to get removed pretty quickly. We'll see, but... The mana to be able to play it is there, so. All right, wish me luck. I'm gonna need it. Dream Thief is quite the uh, puzzling creature to drop in these colors. All right, clearly something instant speed. Kill spell. All right, gonna have to go without the lore master this game, which is tough. The lore master is a very big engine piece to the deck, so not having that ready to go at all times is gonna be a bit of a bummer. All right, we might be in trouble here, for real, for real. Oh God. Wait, hold on, we've got a bounce spell for this, and then next turn we play this. Seems pretty good. I really hope we draw a land naturally here. That'd be nice. All right, we'll be sending this back. See if they put it on top of their deck or not. At least we won't be seeing it for at least another turn, so that's good. What you gonna do with it? A bottom, that means they have another one. Shoot, Never mind. we're gonna see it right now. Oh, or not. Okay, so this is Rakdos mid-range. Got it. Okay, I, I knew this was like one of the top meta decks right now. I haven't, I haven't actually seen it, which is kind of wild. I think it's like second most played. So kind of strange that we haven't seen it yet. All right, I'm going to flash in the Wandering Emperor here because I'd like to get the Lore Master down with at least three mana left over to counter and protect it. And just like that, they make my life miserable. Um, okay. Go ahead. 
Pick a card, any card except for that one. Pick a card, any card. Problem is, I'm gonna lose the Wandering Emperor to a silly little fairy dream thief attack. Which one did I take? Dissipate. Guess that makes some sense. Let's see if they make a mistake and send a dream thief at my face. Yeah, they don't. No mistakes made there. Uh, so the most I can get out of this is the minus. Not having it dissipate to protect the Academy Lore Master is a bit scary. Probably gonna lose it again. If I get another land, maybe there's um merit in shoot. I say maybe there's some merit in making a, a counterpart of the lore master right away, but it doesn't look like they're gonna give me that option. Pass the turn. Good news is the harvester can't kill it, right? Needs another blood token to pull that off. I can flash into Fairy Vandal and kill the bat, which is going to be really, really clutch. Because I just drew that, so they don't have any of that information uh, to draw off of here. I'm having a good day of magic, man. It's rare to say that, too. I'm having a really good day. Hope you're all having a fantastic day, by the way, too. And hope you guys had a fantastic holiday. I'm recording this on New Year's Eve, so holiday is today. A token? This is too good. This is really too good because the opponent's going to swing through the, the bat. It's, it's a guarantee, right? Why would you not go over the top of the bat here? Honestly, they send everything, right? Yep, yep, tapped out. Love to see it. Give me that back. Come on now. Give me that back. Yes, please. It's a fairy. All right. I don't mind that. Uh, we pass the turn back to the opponent here. We unlock all of our cards again. Everything, for the most part, pretty flash speed here. We got counters. We got broker's charm. Either way, we can do some... Uh, trickery here because we can draw some extra cards to pump the vandal up to a 3-4 pretty exciting blocker there could counter that hmm yeah I think I'm gonna counter that god knows what they're gonna hit off the top could be another bat can't allow that okay Able to draw some cards here. We hate that, but we'll take the two. It is what it is. Do I play the Teferi this turn? Probably not. Teferi is always going to be one of those ones that's kind of weird for us to play on curve. It's just uh, if we have a Lore Master out, we're almost always going to prioritize the Lore Master's draw. So going to pass on the Teferi for now. We're going to flash in the Bodyguard. And then we're going to take away their Preacher. Put a stop here so it doesn't go to the attack step before it's too soon. Interesting. I can counterpart this and take that too. Yeah, we're chilling. All right, here we go. Here we go. We'll take you. Do your worst, cowboy. No attacks, okay. Makes sense. Let's draw two cards here. All right, we're looking for the Kraken. Um, do we want the extra card here, actually? Um, if I go one, two, three. If I, yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I'm still gonna play a, um, a counterpart here and more expensive cost. Still have two mana open. Let's go. We can play the fairy vandal. That's clutch. Okay. 
We are chilling. Straight chilling. Uh, do we attack yet? Let the one ones get over the top. Do we want to? Yeah, that's that's a race I like. That's a race I like. They can do something when they die though, right? They surveil or something. Uh, when they enter the battlefield, when it dies, they can draw a card and exile for three. Okay. Pass the turn. Okay, well, now we're a little susceptible, though, because the opponent could run out some removal here on either one of these creatures and get something back that's pretty sizable. All right, Dream Thieves are probably going to attack into me here. They're going to wish they didn't. We've really got answers for everything, it feels like, man. We are really kind of cooking up here pretty well. Um, I could just block here. I don't really have a reason to keep this around. This is going to ping us, though, for two damage per creature dying. Is it just our creatures? Uh, if you, Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, I lose two. So I block it. Um, no, I'll let it, I'll let it go. Ooh, that's a card. Sorry, Teferi, you're gonna have to keep waiting, man. I'm sorry, we, our board is really good. We don't want you on the field just yet. We've got other things we'd like to be doing. Okay, so if we plan on playing this, we'll need four mana. And is there anything else I'd like to play here? I can't play that. Technically, I could play that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we know they're not trading with this. And it will also entice them in swinging into us with the Archfiend. And then we'll kill it with the uh, Wandering Emperor. That seems like a pretty solid idea. Because if I just leave this back here, there's no way they're going to attack with it. So let's give them that option to swing through and feel a little bit more secure about it. So that way we can surprise them with our... Our wandering waifu. It's good games, man. Some good games. I've been been rolling today, man. We're rolling. I feel like I should have done a stream today, the way things are going. Yep, that's about what we thought was going to happen. Do they discard? You sure do. Only one mana open. They're probably not going to get a playable card here. They put the 1-1 one -one counter there, which doesn't really make much of a difference, does it? Block you. Block you. And unfortunately, exile you, my friend. And that'll be a scoop. <laughs> that'll be a scoop de whoop -de. Let's go. <gasps> GG's, man. GG's. I mean, it has just been amazing today, honestly. Let me see here. So, yeah, we got time for one more, maybe. All right, another opening hand with the Lore Master. I don't know how I keep getting lucky enough to get the Lore Master in every opening hand, but you know what? Um, it'll do. <laughs> it'll definitely do. But then I get unlucky and go up against removal, so the chance of it, the chances of it hanging around are very slim. But you never know if you don't try, right? Let's go. Cut down. Go for the throat. What's the, what's the call? Edict. I didn't guess that one. Would have lost that drinking game. Interesting. Kept the two lander, huh? Been there. It doesn't usually pay off. We're losing this lore master. If we lose this lore master, we probably lose this game if I'm being honest. Because we need lands, man. We're missing land drops as well. The good news is they're they're also missing land drops. So that could, could you know, play into our favor, hopefully. It, it's going to come down to whoever's luckier. And right now, our luck is pretty high, it feels like today. So there's their third land drop. All right. Okie dokie. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. And my luck just ran out, didn't it? Um... That's a turn. Could copy this, but it really doesn't mean much to us. Shoot. We're screwed, huh? Yep. 
Dang, man, we were ahead of them on the lands. We had three, they had two, and all of a sudden now they're at four. We have nothing. That's crazy. Sometimes magic is like that, you know? It is a fickle game. All right, we're back in it though, just like that. Just like that. Let's uh, let's go Wandering Emperor, of course. Get rid of this, gain our two life. Take three though, so we're going down to what, 14? And the obliterator is a much more important threat I need to get rid of, huh? Well, I could technically copy... Copy it. Does it stick around though? Probably not. And what do I do here? Do I take three? And just wait a turn to activate that Wandering Emperor on the obliterator? I don't know, man. I feel like I... I feel like I'm gonna roll a dice here. I'm gonna regret it for sure, but we'll see. This is probably not the play. I should probably be taking the three damage here. But I don't really want to. So I'm not gonna. Alright, let's get this down. Let's get this down. How clutch is that, man? How clutch is that? All right, wish me luck. Remember We're gonna trait. need it. We're gonna need it. If we pull this win out, I don't know how it's gonna happen, man. Yeah. That's a bummer. All right, well, we lose the Wandering Emperor. At least we don't take any damage to the face. That's a positive for one more turn. Ah, I needed that. Shoot. <gasps> clutch all right let's go <laughs> we're chilling we're chilling that's clutch um sure sure thing pal Ugh. all right i think it's time I think it's time for the Teferi to make an appearance here. We got the 2-2. Two, two. We'll block with it all day long. I can I can always copy this and steal the, the shielded soon. But uh, as of right now, I think I'm just going to let it chill and marinate for a second. Please don't kill that. All right, that's fine. I can move that. Just don't kill that, please. All right, here we go. We got a Teferi actually resolved on the battlefield. We're just missing a couple of lands for this whole breaker to get down, man. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I think we're gonna need another body again to block the shielder one more time because I need to use this here copy to get this But then again, I could just use it to create a uh, Phyrexian obliterator as well A couple of things I can do. I think I need to just do this I don't know this could be completely the wrong call. I, I really don't know right now So I'm gonna create another blocker here for the shieldred Nice to see a familiar face I may have to play this on my turn so it comes in on taps so I can force a decent block. One, two, three, four, five, six. We don't love that. Might have to give up the Teferi here. Good news is that frog is a full on copy of the bodyguard, so it's a three mana creature. Yeah, I'm going to give up Teferi. It's not like I need to be drawing cards anyways right now. Not with the shield or down on the field. Mind is willing, but the body, That'll work. It hurts. That'll work. All right, maybe I just use this, steal this. Or maybe we play this. I don't know. I do not know, man. I do not know. Um, gosh, what do we do? I, 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 I don't know. I really don't. I probably should have taken the shield red. I'm going to regret that. Uh, maybe not. That's pretty clutch. Dang, dude, they're making my life really hard. Like the fact that every creature so far has been a shield red or an obliterator has been mind boggling, but it is so hard to deal with, too. It's just like uh all right so the obliterator swings right has to absolutely has to perfect okay 
Now can they just get one more land here, please? This is what you get for hurting my people. Okay, we got the land. Shoot, but we still probably should just play this and get rid of this now before it's too late. I'm thinking. I guess getting a token here is not the worst idea because, hear me out, if they play a Shieldred's Edict, I'll be forced to sack this and now I can uh, choose to Let sack this. So there's options there. All right, well, I, I guess I have options as well as my flash creatures go to because... Uh, there's really no reason not to pass the turn here, I don't think. All right. Sweet, okay. Let's see how they attack or not attack. Okay. So we'll do this then. Let's go. And then we'll start the upkeep with this. Return this. Steal this. And we're going to keep it nighttime for now. Ah, but then they're just going to reanimate some. Wait, is there anything to reanimate? Yeah, there's a couple things they can reanimate, huh? Oh, I don't even have anything to play anyways. It's not like I have a choice. Oh, dissipate his clutch. Dissipate is so clutch. Okay. You know what else is clutch? Ah, this is everything. You know what else is clutch? Is the fact that whatever we bounce from the opponent with the persistence when they pull our creature, we get to bring it right back to our hand. That is also clutch. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. So whatever they reanimate here, they're giving back to us. Just saying. Love it. Down to four, though. Don't love that. Yep, I had a feeling. I'm like, it's going to be another shielded, but at least we can do something about it, right? Give me that. All right. They are going to switch back to day, which is going to ping us for damage. Do we have lethal, though, here? Right, that's one damage, right? Okay. All of these have flash, so let's just wait on that. I think we might have lethal here anyways. Yeah, GG's. Um, I didn't do the math. Let me see. So 7, 6 would have been 13, 14, 15, 16, 16. Yeah, we had lethal. Nice. Anyways, what a run, dude. What an absolute run. I think we went on defeated here today. I'm not sure. I know the first game was really close. Enchantments almost got us. Could have had us, honestly, if they played that a little bit differently. But everything else felt really, really clean. Uh, that mono red player, that was a bit unfortunate. <laughs> Anyways, GG's, guys. I really enjoyed the deck. I hope you guys did as well. And I hope you guys get some value out of this one. Huge shout out to the Marty Mob. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're part of the Marty Mob, which is the membership program on this channel, thank you especially for helping support me grow my content and my career in this field. So thank you so much for everything you do for me. I really do appreciate it. And uh, thanks, guys. We'll see you tomorrow for another video. And uh, tonight for a live stream, I think we're actually on Wednesday with this video. So we'll see you guys tonight for a live stream. We're going to be playing against you guys. So if you guys want to play against me, come check out the live stream and we'll get that done. Till next time. Peace out. Hit him three times like a hat trick. Yeah. The name is says you know Patrick. Yeah, yeah. If you play him, then it's tragic. Hit him with the mythic. Yeah, that's magic. Yeah. FTG, that's what you'll see if you like and subscribe. With the upload, man. Uh, man, all of the time. Coming with the best exit to the meta. This ain't cheap yet.